guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and today I'm going to be giving you nine crucial tips for a flawless face. So when you want that full beat, there are nine tips that I use and practice every single time to make sure that my makeup looks flawless. So if you're a beginner or an intermediate or maybe an advanced person and you need some tips, this is the perfect video for you or maybe you just need a refresher on a few things. Now before I get started, if you're brand new to my channel and this is the first time you're looking at my face and you love beauty videos, go ahead and subscribe. I do upload three times a week and I'm sure you're gonna find something on my channel that you like. If you're an oldie but a goodie subby, hey girl, it's nice to see you again. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one, always apply a great eye primer as your base, especially if you have oily lids and you wanna prevent creasing or if you're going to use colorful eyeshadows and you really want them to pop. Now today, my goal is I'm gonna use a primer that's really going to adhere to my shadows to prevent creasing because I do have oily lids and my primer of choice is the Smashbox 24 Hour uh, Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I use this in the majority of my videos, so you guys have probably heard me talk about this before. One thing that I really love about this specific primer is that it goes on and blends out smoothly and it's very translucent, so you don't have like that white kind of casty color on your eyelids. It just blends out super smooth. So of course I wanna set this with a translucent eyeshadow or you can use translucent powder. It's up to you what you prefer. And I just dust that all over and that way it just kind of gives like a uniform color as my base before I start on my eyeshadow. Tip number two, when you have sparkly or shimmery eyeshadows and you want them to apply with a lot of intensity, the trick is you can either use your fingers or if you're not about that finger life, <laughs> hey, you know, no shame in that, you can also use MAC Fix Plus spray it to your brush and apply the eyeshadow and it's going to have a nice, intense, shimmery, wet look. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and take the the Girls palette from the Desi and Katie collection uh, from Dose of Colors and I'm going to go into the shade, uh, I believe this is Harpoon or maybe it's Turbosan. It's one of those, I can't really tell, but it's this color right here. And I'm gonna use my pinky finger because it's the smallest and it can fit in there with my hooded eye situation. It's really intense on my finger and I'm going to apply it on top of this matte shade. Tip number three is to use multiple primers to treat your individual skin concerns. If you have normal skin all over your face, then that's great. You might only need to use one primer. If you have oily combination or any type of combination skin, your concerns are going to be different. For me, I'm oily combination in my T-zone and the rest of my face is normal and sometimes it can turn dry in the winter. The first primer I've used is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base and that went all over my face since it does double as a moisturizer as well. Now the second one I'm gonna use is the Urban Decay D-Slick Complexion Primer and this is a mattifying primer and it controls shine and minimizes pores so that's going to go in my T-zone. And the next one here is from Milani. It's the Prime Light Primer and it's for strobing and it has pore minimizing qualities. This is going to go on the normal regions of my face. Tip number four is to let your primer sit on your face for at least 10 minutes. Really let it sink in to your skin and fully dry before you apply your foundation. This is going to make sure that your primer is in its best shape possible to cling to your makeup and really give you that flawless look. Now that my primer is nice and dry, I'm going to apply the NARS uh, Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. I'm just like so in love, it's my newest baby. Yeah. <laughs> 
this one you are supposed to apply it with your fingers and smooth it out. Tip number five, when you are applying your concealer, let it sit before you go ahead and set under your eyes. I just can't explain to you, but I promise you, your concealer will look better as opposed to doing it immediately right after you apply it. Now, one of my favorite drugstore concealers is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer, and it is waterproof, it is full coverage, and the shade I'm using is called Deep. Now that I've let it sit under my eyes for a bit, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Setting Powder, tap off the excess, and then look up and dab it under there. Tip number six is to apply your cream contour products before you set the rest of your face. Trust me, it looks a lot better and you're more likely to have an easier time blending out your cream products and for it to have more of a natural finish on the skin as opposed to sitting on top of face powder. Now when applying this, I like to use it on the outer parts of my face. For the rest of my face to set that, I'm using the Lancome Translucence Powder, and this right here is in the shade 500. Tip number seven. I'm gonna show you guys the secret trick to applying highlights. Sometimes it could be a bit tricky. So for this demo, I'm gonna use the uh, Mirame Highlighter from the Desi and Katie Collection. This is what it looks like right here. Now, what you're first going to need is a fan brush. Depending on what you want, what kind of uh, look you want, you can use a stippling brush or a fan brush, but I'm gonna show you the way that I apply highlights. So first of all, you're gonna take your fan brush, you're gonna dip it in here, and I like to stick to one side of the fan brush, so I use from the middle to the outer end here. This is going to be what's applied to my face. Don't forget to top off excess. Now you see where kind of my natural highlight is? That's where we're gonna apply it and we're gonna stick from right here to here. And once you apply it, you kinda wanna use some circling motions to kinda smooth it out. So it's not perfect yet, we're almost there. Take it and apply it just a little bit to the top. Now you take a, I don't know what to call this brush, I think this is a contour brush, but it's a smaller kind of like dome shaped brush. Take it into the highlighter, just dab it twice. Now we go back over and you just bring it up into like a C motion. Now this helps to have it look like more blended on your face and as you can see, it is a blingy blingy. Now for the rest of your face, you can apply your highlighter as usual, depending on your own preference. I like to highlight the center of my nose, so I just take my pinky, dab it in, draw a line. And then, you see how it looks now? It's fine, but I'd rather it look a bit more blended and diffused. So I take a normal eye blending brush and then I just blend out the sides and the upper part. Tip number eight, if you wanna avoid looking cakey, use this. MAC Fix Plus before you use a setting spray is so perfect for you. It will melt your makeup together and it will make you not look cakey. Cause I mean, cakey is never cute. You wanna look like it's almost like your skin is glowing or like your skin but better, you know what I mean? Tip number nine, apply a setting spray of your choice. If you're dry, and you want to look dewy, apply a dewy setting spray. If you want to be matte all day long or make sure that your makeup lasts all day long, apply a long lasting or mattifying setting spray. One of my favorites is the Urban Decay All Nighter This Baby Works. Sometimes 
if you live in like a humid climate or somewhere where it gets hot all the time it's even better to use as a like refreshing like long-lasting makeup setting spray so you know if you notice yourself starting to like melt apply this a second time later on throughout the day and this may be a work like a dream now I hope you guys enjoyed all of those tips Hopefully you've already been practicing them already and if not, you picked up a few things to try out the next time you go ahead and play with your makeup. Let me know any other video requests that you guys have. Those of you that have been requesting a review for Fenty Beauty, I see you boo. It's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Well, don't forget to check out uh, some of these videos that I have up here on the screen. If you have some more time and you want to chill with me a bit more, um, then that would be really cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.